The South Park of X legalized humor check mini pilot, the first animated sitcom on X featuring Larry Elder, Ruben, so this Dave Ruben, uh, Awaken with JP, and, and an animated appearance of Elon Musk. Support this. Donate the stripe. Oh, here we go. Right away, it's not the South Park of X. When you have Larry Elder and Ruben, uh, I like Dave Ruben and I like Larry Elder, but they're not Trey Parker and Matt Stone. So. No, they're not. They're, they don't have edgy, edgy comedy, edgy humor. Here we go. What's that? Progress. Why is there a laugh track? It's supposed yeah. to be like a sitcom. Yeah, okay. Keep going. All right. It's the new norm. The new norm ain't the same as the old norm. I'm the old norm. I want normal beer. Warning, warning. I am reached. <laughs> Ugh. It's your fault I got house arrest. You're the one who threatened the school board. I gently suggested Yelled. they stop brainwashing my daughter that girls aren't girls and men aren't men. Sometimes they're neither, or both, or furry and dressed like dogs. Ah! Ow! Janice! What's that? Warning, offensive. Actually, that is one of my pronouns. Also, they, them, and me. You're non-binary? How do you know that word? I learned it. I'm, I'm going to pause right there. Oh, my God. I need to take a break. It's so fucking this. terrible. Yeah. See, th this is why the right wing can never win the culture war, because they make shit like this. Yeah. The problem with yeah. woke is that it's not really about, you know, the things they, the utopia they dream of. It's that instead of just making something entertaining, it's all about the fucking message. That's that's yeah. what, that's what makes woke bad. It's about the message first. So does that change when your message is different? It's about the message. This is the right wing message, and it's like, look, it's not that I don't agree that all this is lampoonable. It's just that this isn't like we know all this already. This isn't funny. This isn't entertaining. Mm -hmm. That's yep. why they had the laugh track. And that's the reason why yeah. when um like we when Gray and I officially like basically watched um Lady Ballers. But we saw the trailer and I'm like, all right, cool. And then when we saw it, I'm just like, all right, yeah, we get it. Like these jokes are old. There's some parts where we actually like laughed, but most of it is like, yeah, it's sort of like the story isn't that compelling. It's like, I think we gave it like a seven at best. And yeah. it's like, it's it, it wasn't that great. And it just this feels like you're it's the same, it's the same type of like comedy. Yeah, we know. Like, can you make something good and make fun of the book at the same time? The story comes first, right? But like, uh, let's continue in school that's why i'm locked up norm the judge agreed to conditional parole what condition where's my room that's staying, staying here? here Chaz is part of a new government program to re-educate homophobic transphobic racist charlie finally someone normal i i don't understand you're black did that just Black Whisper? You're his friend? And boss. Speaking of, when you're coming back to the trophy shop. As soon as I get rid of this, which means I gotta take in that? Offensive. Chaz is here to re-educate Norm. In non-bonary studies. Offensive. I'm allergic to dogs. It's okay. Billy is an emotional support dog and non-binary. Oh, okay then. Good dog. I come here to get away from woke. Trouble at home? Ah, uh, my boy, or whatever it calls themselves now, is thinking about transitioning. Reggie? Reggie? Try Regina. I, Gray, what, what are your thoughts on this, man? Uh, it, every line uttered is terrible. It's like, this is what Disney wants to be. Modern day Disney wants to be. It, dude, the, every millisecond there's supposed to be a laugh effect. It's fucking annoying, dude. Yes, and it's, it's yeah, insanely it's, annoying, man. It's it's so fucking cringe too. It's yeah. so bad. They, they don't know when to subtly. <clears throat> you, you use those very subtly, and you have to properly time it to the proper. They're just spamming the laugh, the laugh, the laugh effect, and it every, every single line is terrible. I don't know. I don't know how to further elaborate, or describe, or finding the proper words to say, but it's just terrible, man. You know, Gami, how, how, how do you feel? How, how, how's the animation? What do you think about the animation? Animation's fine. 
Um, it's actually better drawn than most of the crap you see on TV. Uh, so I, I imagine there's a bunch of, uh, I guess you call them expats from the animation industry, because there actually is a minority of them who don't believe in any of this rainbow stuff and woke stuff mm. that are actually very good. Uh, so I have no problem with any of the animation or the art or anything. It's just the writing is terrible. And what do we always say? What do all our favorites always say? Just tell us a good story. We don't mm -hmm. give a shit about all the messaging. You know, just tell us a story. And if you can organically incorporate jokes and if like they call this, I find it insulting. They called it the South Park of X. This is retarded. Yep. South Park. Yeah, absolutely. By a genius. absolutely. Trey Parker is a literal genius savant and he's able to hit everyone. It's not he's against you. It's just your turn. Everyone gets a turn being hit with the baseball bat. That's what mm -hmm. makes South Park good. And but it's also brilliant. It's brilliantly uh, written. It's brilliantly timed. Everything about it is fantastic. You know, except for the animation. The animation sucks. But that's that's part of the joke. Mm -hmm. This this is not brilliantly written. It's not funny. It's not witty or anything like that. It's just complaining from the other side. And again, yep, yep. it's the message that's the most important. It's not yep. they're not just telling a story, a bunch of lovable characters. They're just it's just the same things we already know just spelled out for us. It's boring and it's just kind of cringe. Yeah. It's it's like where where is the subtlety? You know, yep. like I I I think, you know, it's it's show don't tell. It's always yeah. been like that, right? And the thing is you're yep. you're basically just telling us, telling, oh yes, yes, we know already. How about you stop with that shit, right? All right, let's finish this up. Transitioning to what? Another Hopefully not a Jets fan. Hey, pronoun. This bud's for you. I can't drink. I'm not 21. Y'all influenced my boy to cut off his junk, but draw the line at beer? Can't do this. Yes, we can. Find a way to break him. <laughs> I like the character. Maybe we can fix the country. <laughs> those are good. Yeah, those are good. I just yeah. want normal beer. You know there'll be jokes. The new norm ain't the same as the old norm. Everything's changing and I don't know when. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I, I I'm no curious. With the, art. the art is fine. The animation is yeah. fine. Look. I don't remember who said it. I, I actually kind of do say and remember who said it, but I won't say who it was because I know a lot of people don't like him. But you don't the remedy to all the bad shit they're making is not more bad shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you if you're if you're tired of the crap that the Hollywood is making and the Wokarati are making and on the and the alphabet people are if you're tired of all the creative shit that they're shoveling, it's like woke slop that they're giving us. The answer is not more slop. The answer mm -hmm. is you make something good. And you know, the reason I said that the person who said that is not someone who's liked is because some of our favorites have actually started trying to make their own stuff, but it hasn't been great, you know? Not all of it's been great. Some of it's been okay. But the point is, is that if you see what they're the slop that they're shoveling us from the official establishment and your solution is to make your own independent slop, it's still just more slop. So the answer is not making more slop. So when the right wing, even though we agree with a lot of the ridiculousness that they point out, you're just making more slop. It's yep. more crap that we don't want. We just yeah. want good stories. We want good entertainment. We don't want it ass full of messages. And if it's going to have a message, then make it part of the fucking story. You know, mm -hmm. Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon has all kinds of fucking moral quandaries in there. It has all kinds of moral questions. There's fucking incest. You have brothers married to their sisters and turning out fucking crazy, deformed, and stillborn things. You got bastards. You got all this other shit. But it's part of the story, and they're all characters that we actually care about and wonder what's going to happen to them. And we're all immersed in that. That's yep. what makes it great. It's not about, you know, okay, 
a lot of people were like, well, how come the Valerians are black? Well, here's the thing. The world of Game of Thrones does have the Summer Isles and the Valerian, you know, you can explain away that, no, Valeria had colonies in the Summer Isles. So that makes sense. It's part of that world. Well, why are there Asian Meisters? Well, there's Asian Meisters because Old Town and the Citadel has learning from all over the fucking world, including E.T., where there's actual Asians. Or, I'm sorry, excuse me, Orientals. Okay? <laughs> there's Orientals, there's Middle Easterners, there's fucking black people. Everyone's in that universe, and it's all organic. Why? Because in the time that it was based off of, which is, you know, Middle Ages England, mm -hmm. that also was the case. There was a, you know, England was not the only place on earth. There was pl other places where people came from and they usually arrived by ship. So you can, ha it, it, it was never about representation. It was never about, you know, having different people from different backgrounds. That was always organic and explainable as long as it made sense and was believable. But yep. now they want to do it just for its own sake. And that's what makes it woke. And that's what makes it crap. It, that, that takes precedence over story, over character, over the things we care about. And it doesn't matter if it's done from the freaking woke left or these people from the right who also hate video games, who also hate comic books, who also want us not to watch the things they don't want us to watch because it makes us into a bunch of degenerate assholes. You know, it's like we don't need to just change the fucking tyrant. We just need free expression and actual entertainment. Yep. That's what we and, want. And I think that's the reason why, like, um, like Gray and I, we, we, we talked about the, the whole, like, Matt Walsh thing a couple of times. And we have, like, a bunch of people in our comments saying that he's right and we are wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, you shouldn't play games. You shouldn't, like, watch anime. You shouldn't, you, you shouldn't do any of the stuff that makes us happy, right? And then we're just like, well, that's the reason why he's out of touch. That's why he says video games are bad. You know, he's out of touch. And I think and the thing is that he's not that much older than us. Like, he, well, he's in his 40s. Yeah. So it's just like he grew up with conservative values and stuff like that. And like what well, Judeo-Christian values or whatever values he believes in. Right. The thing is, like, that's how you isolate the people that could potentially want to consider believing or watching yourself or voting the way that you vote. Right. But if you're just going to like, you know what? It's like, oh, okay, we believe in all of the political stuff you believe in. And then all of a sudden, anime is bad. Video games for degenerates. Well, you, you're losing us, dude. Like, don't do not do that. Like, like it, it's, you, you're basically being Aegon Targaryen. You're right. You got something good already. Everyone's on your side. And then all of a sudden, you kill all the rat catchers and you string them up on the wall. And everyone sees it. And that's the reason Truth. why I think that the right will always lose unless they change this. Right? And like, we... We just need someone who is like more, more, more middle of the ground that goes over there. Okay. I'm not, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm talking, I'm not talking about fucking Chase Oliver. Okay. I'm not talking about that fucking Katunki. All right. I'm talking <laughs> about someone who is actually like smart, someone who is like, all right, cool. I, I, I'm in the middle. I don't, I play video games. I believe, I believe that. Like, so like someone like Elon Musk, right? He has left, think, he, he, he thinks he has like, you know, traditional leftist values or, or whatever. Uh, more liberal values and but he also believes in he lost he plays video games he's a nerd he enjoys all these things i don't be, i don't believe in everything that elon musk says but at least he's more based than a lot of the people that i that that, that tend to be lean right leaning right and and that's why i'm saying like uh, it's, it's like uh, of course we're bringing back to matt wash again saying that video games is bad and 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 watching anime is considered you know it's it's it's, it's, it's the devil's demonic it's, demonic yeah right it's like dude stop like, like you have so much gamers and some people, a lot of people who like anime on your side. Don't push them away. Embrace it. How about it's like, oh, it's because I see a lot of little kids. They look like little kids. Like, why don't you just watch something that Matt Walsh needs to watch? OG Berserk. He needs to watch. Um, he he needs to watch Attack on Titan. Something that's not like okay, yeah. has like something that has like you know some edgy stuff in there from time to time, right? No, I'm not talking about those. Watch something that's like actually good good storytelling and stuff like that and he'll it's like oh so this is what anime is right it's because i remember uh even asmongold like he was talking about how he hated anime because his friend uh cody showed him bleach and he fucking hated it and then he watched berserk the og berserk and he's like this is anime he's like yeah wow anime can be good and that's what he should watch right and you know just he 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 needs to step out of his boundaries and just accept it. And I believe he's he's grown a little bit more like you know 
more reasonable, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll, I, I believe he talked to Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah, he talked, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he talked, so talked. hopefully that kind of brings them up a notch in terms of his acceptance into anime as a medium. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.